The federal government is getting behind New Jersey's hospital-based violence intervention programs, kicking in a million-dollar grant today to help expand and continue the services. They've been credited with reducing shootings and other violent crime in cities across the state. Melissa Rose Cooper has that story. The nation reckons with gun violence epidemic from coast to coast. No one escapes it. And our city hasn't been spared. I lived there all my life. We've got to do something about this. And Congressman Bill Pascarell says he's working to make Patterson safer. The congressman recently helped secure $1 million in federal funding to expand hospital-based violence intervention programs in Patterson. These essential federal dollars are a blessing for our community, and we thank the federal government and mark a turning point where we declare and commit to the safety of all Pattersonians. The congressman joining local leaders and members of the community in Patterson today as the million dollar grant was awarded to reimagining justice. We're trying to create ambassadors. We're trying to make sure young folks in their neighborhood know that there's other options, right? That it doesn't always have to relate to violence and we, we're gonna be able to do this with this investment you're giving us. The Violence Prevention Organization works with St. Joseph's University Medical Center to provide various resources like youth mentoring and mental health support in an effort to stop violence before it happens. What we're trying to do is create a complementary strategy to public safety. We're not saying that we have all the solutions, but the police cannot do it by themselves. These young folks, these um, victims of violence that are now survivors, they all need support, they need resources, they need infrastructure, they need um, motivation, they need mentorship. And we're so fortunate that we have five recent survivors of gun violence on our team that are doing peace work every day. We're a complex organization with a simple mission, uh, improve health the health of the community while focusing on the poor, vulnerable, and underserved. And something we'll continue to do. And we know to do that, we have to move outside the hospital with partnerships like this, with the Patterson Healing Collective, because public safety is public health. So this is right in line with our mission. Um, this is going to go a long way to expanding what we do. Um, as was mentioned before, this is unique work. It's hard work. Right? That's right. When you're on the cutting edge, sometimes you get beat up a little bit because you bump up into long-standing practices and things that need to change, and we are changing, and impacts are being made. We are seeing the difference. We know the stories, and now we'll be able to do more of that. The announcement of the grant to reimagining justice comes on the one-year anniversary of Robert Quadra's death. The 18-year-old was getting ready to attend college, earning a full ride to Montclair State University when he was shot and killed while helping his grandmother with groceries. Patterson Superintendent of Schools Eileen Schaefer saying this grant will hopefully help prevent another life from being lost too soon. Our kids need to be safe on the streets going and coming from school and after school. And they want to use all these parks that the mayor has now done a great job uh, in revitalizing them, but we want it to be safe so that they can go to the park and they can go home from the park. Just like every other child in the country is able to do, they need to be able to do that as well. Leaders say they hope investments like this grant will help create more safe spaces for the youth in the community with the goal of one day making Patterson violence-free. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Melissa Rose Cooper.